So one way that you can spread community of learners with your colleagues and have them use them in, in their classroom is if you engage in a peer coaching partnership. We have come together today to learn about what is a community of learners and share that knowledge with you. My class is a community of learners and we work with our um, grade four or five coaches and they are a community of learners and together we make one large community of learners. So you're going to be working together in small groups three, four, five students. We'll have grade three students with grade two students. And you are going to be representing your thinking, your ideas about what you think a community of learners might be. Differences, like if somebody had a different type of hair or something or a different type of clothes, you don't laugh at them or if they're from a different country, you don't laugh at them because they're different than you. We start the process with our students early in the year. My teaching partner, Mary Lynn Epps, has an older grade, or older coaches, and um, she goes through the process of um, developing a community of learners in her class, and then her class become my coaches, and they coach my students through the process so that they can become a community of learners. Our circle is called a talking circle. And in a talking circle, we are always respectful of the person who is talking. And we know who that person is because they hold the talking stick. We each have our own little buddy and we do projects with them. And um, with the K ones, we, we uh, teach them about community of learners and now they're forming their own and so with our little buddies we just do art projects and we do um, and things about revolving around community of learners and how they would when they get into older grades how they would teach the littler classes I'm gonna tell them about how to be a community maybe ask them if they know anything about it um, maybe tell them to teach their family. Okay, now Emma, you've got a picture of Sarah and you've got a picture of you. How can you show that you're both a member of a community of learners? We're going to be teaching them how to be a community of learners and um, we're going to be um, not just letting us do all the talking and do the work. We're going to try and encourage them to do it. I actually didn't really want to be um, in this kind, in this environment where I'm forced, like I have to make friends with um, younger, older children. It's just kind of out of my comfort zone. But when I was put into the class, I realized like they're just like me. Like the age is just a number, and so um, most of them are my friends now. Like, and so it really helped a lot to realize like. I don't really care what class I'm put into. Like I could be put into a five-six split and be put in with some of my old my friends from my class now. Once they've um, got their code of conduct or their four C's for grade three, um, it does become a framework for next year. And being that I'm a grade three teacher, uh, it, I'll be fortunate enough to get some of those students who will already be familiar with community of learners, and they will become little coaches within within my class. And Mary Lynn, as a grade four or five teacher, men, many of my students I pass on to her, and she will have a group who can become mini coaches within her class.